Richie and I have been set a challenge to see whether we have what it takes to complete the basic training that junior soldiers undertake before joining the army. We've been issued our kit and have begun to be put through our paces, but things are about to get a lot more difficult. We're heading into the countryside for our next set of challenges. Guys, as promised, we move on to the next stage of our training. We're going to move on to the field craft phase. I'm glad you look real excited. Yeah, it's a heavy bag. <laughs> You'll get used to that real quick. Let's go. Within this forest are Waterloo Company, who have been here for the last three days. As part of their training, junior soldiers need to learn how to survive in the wild by mastering skills like cooking outdoors, making a shelter and concealing themselves. All things we'll need to master over the next few days. But first, let's find out what made them want to do this. What made you guys want to join? I couldn't imagine myself sitting at a desk or just going to a normal like college. I just couldn't imagine it. I'm going in the Royal Army Medical Corps and I've always been interested in like the medical side of things and I just thought it was the best of all worlds really. I can just do both of those things in one job. So obviously everyone's fairly close-knit. Um, have you made many friends here, do you think? Yeah, I've made a lot of friends since coming here. It's built my confidence a lot. And these are people that, at the end of the day, you do have to put your life in their hands. And I think that's what helps build such close-knit bonds between people here. Right, enough chat. It's time for our camouflage and concealment challenge. We're going to be taught how to disguise ourselves in the wild and will then be tested by the sergeant. We usually go for the green as a base layer. Just, Anywhere. Just spread it all yeah. over your face. Whilst it might look messy, this is an essential skill which soldiers need to learn in order to stay hidden from the enemy. I mean, we look ridiculous. I look nice, Richie. Don't say things like that. I look great. Yeah, I'm look, quite excited. You look amazing, yeah. Thank um, you. I'm buzzing for this. Ten-year-old me would be so happy right now. Mm. Ten-year-old me would be asleep, but <laughs> the 20-something-year-old me is quite excited. Sure. Now it's time to put our skills to the test. The aim of the game is simple. We need to get as close to the sergeant as possible without being discovered. Ten! Nine! We can only move during the countdown, but as soon as that stops, the sergeant is allowed to turn around, and if he spots us before we get to him, we are out. Uh, so, NC on the right, towards the yellow bush. Four, three, two, one! Whoops! I definitely won that bush. Me and my stupid long legs, I might have messed this one up. Ha ha! This is how it's done, Richie. Five, four, three, two, one! Right, well done, you three. Good work. I feel like I just want to say something really quickly, and that's that I won that game. I mean, how did it go for you? Because I noticed that you actually got caught out, so let's unpack that. Let's talk about that. <laughs> After all that hard work losing, I am starving. Time to head back to camp and cook our rations. Hmm, wonder what we've got. I've got bolognese. I've got an all-day breakfast. I'm happy with both. Tutti fruity drink powder. Moroccan-style bean stew. How do you feel about swapping? Nah. If you're cooking with fire, make sure there's a grown-up to supervise. OK. Stay. Oh. Oh. I might be really, really hungry, but I feel like I'm in Italy. Mm. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Great. Earlier in the day, the sergeant showed us how to build a shelter for the night, and now it's our turn. I hope you were listening, Richie, because I definitely was not. It's the wrong way around. Let's okay, reset. Okay, take two. Done. Bedtime. Night, night, night. Sweet dreams. Good night. Better not snore, Mwaxi. Morning. It's 6 a.m. Who gets up this early? I've had better nights. I don't even know what time it is. I haven't brushed my teeth. But well, we have used the toilet, haven't we, Richie? <laughs> oh, we certainly have. That was the funniest moment of this whole thing. Richie did a stinker. Yeah. Prepare the march! Prepare the march! Time for our final test. Put in! Put in! A four-kilometre walk with Kit, followed by a two-kilometre run. On first 
first thought, this shouldn't be too bad. But we've been training for three days. We're tired, it's a hot day, and we're carrying more than 10 kilograms in our bags. That's around the weight of a car tire. This is gonna be tough. We're halfway there. Time for a quick water stop before we need to get going again. I'm feeling the weight a bit on my shoulders. Nothing I can't handle. <laughs> Yeah, so far so good, but uh, we've got bigger tests ahead yet. So we've got the final two kilometre best effort. So that's when we're going to really test them. Right, Troop Sins is just in sight. Let's keep it going, keep this momentum going. Let's get to the end and get ready for the next phase. It was better than I expected, but I can feel the pain in my feet now. That was fine. I just want, I don't want to stop for too long. I want to get on this run personally before my feet start burning. The final two kilometre challenge is an individual test. It's about pushing ourselves to our limit to achieve the best possible time. Running in army boots is not easy. These things are pretty heavy. I haven't paced myself very well, but it's a mental battle. We're well, halfway through. I want to give it my best because I want to make everyone proud. <laughs> This is like no challenge I've ever done before, but I'm determined to do my best and make it to the end. I made it to the finish line in the time I set for myself, and Waxy isn't far behind. That's it, there we go, there we go. Come on, Waxy! Come on, Waxy! Hold it. Well, in. there we go, there we go. We have done it. That was really hard, because the terrain was up and down. These things are not the friends of runners. You know what, we're not actually in the army. So the fact that we finished, I'm actually pretty impressed with ourselves. Troops, congratulations on successfully passing the final challenge there. Looking back over the last three days, I've seen a lot of potential in both of you. I think we can do something with you guys. <laughs> we'll keep in touch. <laughs> Let's not rush, <laughs> you know. Well done. Thank, Thank you, Sergeant, Sergeant Tynan! Can I, can I salute you? Hey guys, it's Adam. Make sure you subscribe to the Blue Peter channel, like this video, check out our playlists, and if you want to watch more Blue Peter content, then head over to the BBC iPlayer. Watch more on BBC iPlayer.